Hey guys, I am making a idler arm. I found the idler pulley. I found a bolt big enough to go through all the wood. Some washers to space it away. I've got some scrap wood here I was working on. Uh, a bolt that's too long, but it'll work for now. I want to loosen that hole up a bit. So this block will be on the base of the uh, platform here. And this is our hinge. to cut a little bit off the bottom of that although I'm not sure depending on how this goes I have a spring that's gonna go onto this arm over here it's gotta have tension on it so I've got to figure where the Pulley's gonna go. Oops, this goes the other way. This way. And then the pulley's gotta go on somewhere to where I still have tension on the spring. So that spring will provide tension onto the pulley. So let me see. A washer. I'll put this on loosely for now. I should have a washer in between the two, but it won't be much motion on this really. When it's all together, there won't be a lot of motion on this so much. Uh, it's just a. Well, there's going to be some bouncing, I guess. this to go in here. I'm going to put a little hole in here so that stays hooked. That spring stays hooked on this arm. Now a lot of people are probably going to ask me why don't you use uh, metal instead of wood or whatever. Well, I have an abundance of wood on hand and a shortage of metal. And I don't have the ability to work with metal so well as I do with wood. So wood it is. All right, Chris? Yep. Work with what you got, what tools you got to work with. Yep. Now that can stick into there, see? This can go in here, and then we got tension. I'm going to put it on the inside of that nut. I'll put another nut on the outside of it if I have to. All right, now we can put tension on here. Now I got to figure out roughly where the pulley is going to go, so we can put tension on here. I guess it's adjustable. Yeah, I'm, I'm flexible on that. Now the pulley is going to go on. So roughly about in here. I can adjust that. Yeah, all right. Hope that I'm right. I need to put that pulley through right here. Um, what size bolt is that? So I hope I'm not blocking your view too badly. I'm working in a very confined space. I don't want the hole to be too big. That looks like just about right. I don't want the hole in the wood to be too big. 
I want a good, nice, tight fit in that bolt on the idler. Well, they say necessity is the mother of invention. Well, I've got some necessity here. It's not very straight in it. I'm going to have to make, redo that hole a little. I do need it straight on there. Guess I'm gonna need some tools. I'll be back in a minute. I didn't plan on uh, that being so tight. I just want to line this up by hand and feel first before I get going really far on it. Well, guys, there's my idler arm. I've had to bolt it down to the platform. There's a bolt through as a hinge, and I had to cut that rounded with the uh, sawzall. And then there's a bolt through the pulley, and then the spring is running over to the bolt on that uh, pump. Now we're going to try it and see what happens. See if that belt will stay on and see how things look.
Well, it works, guys. Let me give you a close-up. Now when it runs, you can definitely hear the engine take the pressure of splitting that log. And there's hardly any slipping on the pulley or on the belt now. So what we've got is a spring to an arm that I'm figuring used to be for that purpose. Now I don't have a lot of tension on that spring, but it doesn't take much at the angle that the pulley is on here. Okay, And you can see I seriously have taken up some slack in that belt now. So I'm liking it. Of course, there's a bit of wobble right here in this point, uh, but that's going to be, and as long as it holds up, I think we're going to be good. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, it'd be nice if we can get a little more tension on that belt, but... Well, I'm not sure if that's a necessity. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's some, that's some tension. I think it looks pretty good, but yeah, we'll check it. Uh, we just got a call to lunch, so, well, there's my homemade idler arm, guys. Uh, time will tell. Yep. Hey guys, just been splitting wood for a while. 45 minutes of work. That's the results of 45 minutes of work. And uh, I've been carting it myself from over here. That's the wood that's going in the, uh, uh, the shed. This plywood is the last pieces. Hopefully it's enough for the shed. I've been emptying all of this myself Chris is cutting uh, pallet wood and I'm taking out this pile here so we can continue stacking split firewood along this area um, so that's what I've been doing let me show you over here again so not a bad pile for 45 minutes I guess especially since see my wood stove is sort of small and I split these into uh, six eight pieces some of these lugs um, the pulley system is working good, very, very well. There you get a different angle of it there today, guys. It really works. Um, the machine never gave me any trouble at all during this period. So, very good success. I'm very well pleased. All right, got to go to church, so we'll talk to you guys later. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Good night.